Welcome to Rautas Duo Review, meaning two different bands, two different albums on one review video. Why? I'll get you through to that. So we head to France with two albums. One is from Aldaron and the other one is Ordali. And thanks to the guys of the band sending me that, I got also this uh, nice looking uh, shirt to go with it. In different universe, and of course, if you're a fan of the band, fan of the music, well, this is something that you might want to get in order to prove your fandom and all that. Now, why is the reason, <coughs> why is the question? Uh, there are two albums in one video when they are not even the same. It's not like I'm comparing two different albums from one of the same band together. Is that... These bands share and even more shared more members in the past. So that's the thing here. We'll start in alphabetical order. Aldaron. This is Majestic Heights, Melancholic Deaths and uh, Deaths, not Deaths. And here it is, a moon or or lighting the uh, mountainside. Quite um, fantastic looking person. An ominous creature. Quite a beautiful cover, if you ask me. And on the other side, we have a group of darkly ghastly creatures, as well as the track list and other information, including but not limited to lineup. And again, already already figure out there is no drummer in the band. So drummer is a machine, which is one of the downsides of this album, if you ask me. But not that it's disturbing, just worth noting. Now, musically, this is black metal. You can even go as far as to say epic level of black metal. Uh, I think Metal Archives actually list is pagan black metal, which is more of a maybe theme, a sub genre, rather than anything uh, uh, excusing this musically. Here is the lineup photo, two guys in the central European countryside. Uh, there's a bonfire, nice photo by the way. And this is how it looks. So you can expect black metal. And uh, before we go to Metal Archive side as backdrop, we'll go to visit this other album as well, Aurelie, also from France, obviously, in different universe. And as you can see, where the other is more majestic in terms of nature and all, this is more of cosmic origin. Uh, I think this is this was listed in lyrical topics as cosmic themes. So these are not just two black metal bands being one on the same and different topics. Musically, they differ from one another too. And here is the booklet for Orderly, as you can see, very much into space with others literally down to earth with the mountains and all. So one is like, let's go Alpine, let's go Epic, let's go a little bit French way of Immortal, whereas the other one is, let's head to Cosmos, let's take a rocket. All right, Aldaron started in 2004 and now three, uh, sorry, four albums out, this being the number four. And this was already released in 2023, so a little bit late to the party, but this came along with Orderly, which is very, very much 2024 release. And if you like a look at the members list, now we chose only two guys, the ones you saw on the photos, but there are a few uh, members in the band and uh, some of them are, I mean, these are ex-members and now along they have moved on to various bands. So this is current lineup and this is the album how it is. Features um, ambient version which ends the song, let's be honest about it, in a little bit boring ways because now the album is over 50 minutes long and this instrumental song is like, uh, how to put it nicely, it doesn't really do justice to the rest of the stuff. It's more like paling in comparison. And then there is um, Dawn cover, Dawn is a great band, especially this album where this is taken from. But the rest of the stuff, the eight tracks, well, they are somewhat later on, later era, immortal in a way. Uh, kind of a more epic rather than the Fast Furious uh, early days of immortal being fast and all that stuff. Now, this is more on the high tempo department, but definitely more into the atmospheric parts. So I think anything from, you know, um, maybe fourth album out by immortal, and the rest of the stuff that came along, this is more like, okay, now we're jumping to that wagon. And this is like the French take on that. Now, it obviously depends your 
preferences, what kind of black metal you like from this department. More epic, more atmospheric, more melodic, yet still quite a high tempo. Um, you might like this more or the same way as Immortal, or you might feel, yeah, it's not exactly that. But roughly, I would say this is the same genre or sub-genre as Immortal in that sense. Uh, the songs are quite nicely made and all made and all that stuff, but this kind of lacks the catchiness. And like I said, the drum machine, it's not really a real drummer. So that's a small flaw in my opinion. That doesn't ruin the album by whatsoever, but it's just like with a real drummer, it could sound so much better like the dynamics and just overall sound and all. But if you're into uh, epic level stuff, black metal or otherwise immoral, whatnot, definitely give this one a chance. Now, orderly coming from more cosmic topics. Here it is, theme set, cosmic psychology. And this is curious. Here it says three members of which two are ex Aldaron members and one, the vocal guitarist, the main guy, if you will, are still in the band. So. It's like a sidetrack, being a few years younger version and only two albums out versus what Aldaron had, like four. And now when you compare these two, I mean, the musical differences are quite obvious because that different lineup and all, and also the lyrical con and the overall feeling coming from the covers and all. Now in different universes, more in that sense, a little bit more cosmic, not exactly your next dark space or anything, but definitely more into that direction where Aldaron is more, say, organic and yes, more kind of immortal, like atmospheric and all. But Orderly also has a real drama, it seems here, though it says everything is done by Ildar, so I am not really sure about it because the drums actually sound quite um, machine made. I mean, they are definitely not the most dynamic one out there. But I don't know, sometimes this information is a little bit here and there and. Uh, to be honest, uh, here it says on the album says Ildar doing everything, but everything doesn't really define whether you're using real drums or a drum machine. Once again, whatever thing it is, it doesn't matter what the lineup uh, notes say because what he, what matters is does it sound good to you? And I'm saying a little bit like Al, uh, Aldaron, a real drummer, or at least someone playing like a real drummer would sound better. It's not a deal breaker in this case either. It's just more of like a, you know, whether you go more the more organic feeling or the more machine-made feeling. It's pretty much the classic conversation, lo-fi, homemade, whatever, versus the overly produced big label bands. Sometimes the truth is between these extremities and the same goes with drum machine. Not all drum machines are bad, obviously, if they, they do their roles perfectly with bands like Mysticum. But sometimes it's just, yeah, a little bit dynamics wouldn't hurt, even if you're talking about spaceship black metal. Now, the, obviously the question is, because these both are decent releases, which one is better, which one I would take if I would go to a journey? Well, in different universe, the difference is not maybe big, and this is more about, you know, which kind of black metal you're into in first place. So, matter of preferences in terms of musical taste and all. But I would say orderly, does a little bit more for me. But that's just that my, my taste, how it works. Both are definitely decent, we're listening to and we're checking out because there are no major malfunctions or flaws with this album. Just more like uh, here and there, like getting the real drummer and all. Maybe a little bit more powerful production, yet still maintaining the uh, somewhat organic take. But these bands coming from France obviously are somewhat melodic even if not the overly melodic French style, which you might be used to, and most definitely not the raw end of black metal, which is known as Les Légions Noirs, or Black Legions from, from France. So whatever you think about French black metal, just put it in the right box and you're good to go. Links are included in the description box, so start listening. They should be available on some of the streaming services, and like I said, you will find more information with the links included. Now, off you go, enjoy some French black metal, and uh, let me know how you think about it. Bye-bye.